Why hello there, it's me and I'm back with a tutorial now on how to install the new AutoLend. So we're going to open up this GitHub right here, this link is going to be down in the description below, github.com slash nicholas377 slash gofs autoland. So it's right here as you can see, and we're going to look and see here, there's the releases tab, so we're going to click on that. And it's going to see, you'll, you'll see here, 0 0.2-0, public release. That's the latest released release. Um, yeah. Whatever the, whatever is the latest release, you'd want to go ahead and click this right here. V0, V, whatever the version number is, beta.zip, and it will download it. So I, you know, I've installed this before. So we're just going to go off on a limb here and say that uh, magically I don't know how to do this. So we're going to, we're actually, what would happen is, I'll go to maybe my desktop and do this. We'll extract this folder right here, v0.2-0 beta. So we'll copy it to desktop and it will show up there. So we'll open that up. And as you can see, there's code, change log, really license, read me and routes. So code obviously has the actual code that you'll put into Tamper Monkey. Uh, change log is a text file. Uh, get, so it's just what what's changed this release around. Um, and license, which we use GNU general public. And then there's README and Routes, which are both markdown files, so you can either access them in GitHub, like here, README.md. You can access them like this in GitHub, or what I use is I use Typora. So you can download that, it's perfectly safe, so if Windows pops up and says, it's uh, Windows protected your PC, you're perfectly fine to go ahead and install it. So there's a README here, and that obviously opens this up. Um, I will have to eventually overdo this. And there's routes, which is a bunch of pre-made auto land routes, which is just the final approach that you can load in and base your route off of. They're all tested, of course, and yeah, now we'll you obviously need to get Tamper Monkey, uh, Google Play, no, Chrome Web Store. That's what you want to go to. Um, I'm running this on Microsoft Edge. Uh, you have to enable something in Microsoft Edge in order to be able to use extensions from the Chrome Web Store. So in this case, I'll just install Tamper Monkey. Well, I already have it. So you will install Tamper Monkey, and then there's this. You go down to dashboard. Ignore this. This is testing for 0.3-0. So let, let's go back. Oh, wow. Well, let's go back, and we're going to click on this right here, this plus. Delete all the code that automatically comes up. Go into this code, code folder that's been extracted already. And then come over here and move AP++, the JavaScript file, over to Tamper Monkey. It'll take a while to load in since it is generally a large file. Um, so we'll wait. <laughs> Wonderful. So it's perfectly fine that, that this is all one line. It's a minified version of it, so it's a bit smaller and it takes a bit less to load. So we'll repeat the same thing for FMC, and that takes, you know, a lot less, it takes a lot less time to load. So there you are, you have installed the Autopilot, the edited Autopilot++ and Flight Management Computer, and if you haven't seen the t these two videos right here, you can go ahead and click those for your tutorials on how to make it AutoLand FMC route and how to use AutoLand. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.